In this short tutorial, you will learn how to fix CarPlay not working on iOS 18. If you're facing issues with your CarPlay connection, there are a few simple steps you can take to troubleshoot the problem. To get started, open up the Settings app on your iPhone and make sure that both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are turned on, as CarPlay requires a stable connection for seamless operation. Then scroll down a bit and tap Screen Time. and then scroll down again and tap Content and Privacy Restrictions. Tap Allowed Apps and Features. What you want to do next is toggle on the switch next to the CarPlay option. Then restart your iPhone and check if it has fixed your issue. If your CarPlay is still not working, it could be a simple connection problem. Make sure that your iPhone is securely connected to the car's USB port using a certified Apple cable. If the connection seems fine but CarPlay still doesn't work, try restarting both your iPhone and the car's infotainment system. This can often resolve minor software glitches that may be causing the issue. If that also didn't fix the problem, you may need to check for any software updates for both your iPhone and your car's infotainment system. Updating to the latest software versions can sometimes resolve compatibility issues that may be affecting CarPlay functionality. If you have tried all the troubleshooting steps, like restarting your phone and checking the cable connection, but CarPlay still isn't working, one final thing you can try is resetting all settings on your iPhone. To do that, scroll down and tap, Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap, Reset. Then tap, Reset All Settings. Resetting all settings can sometimes help resolve software issues that may be causing problems with CarPlay. However, it's important to note that this will reset all your iPhone settings back to their default configuration. This means you may need to reconfigure things like Wi-Fi networks, Bluetooth devices, and other personalized settings after the reset. Make sure to back up any important data before proceeding with this step. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.